Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. It is time for us to head out to the world map once more as I've run around, I've done everything we need to do, wyvern, strength, fishing, all that sort of stuff. So it is time for us to once again go out and find something new to do. Unless, wait a second, do you have something to report? Thank you. Hello and thanks for all your hard work. Nothing to report. Ah, well, in which case we shall go. Time to depart to the world map. And on the world map, I think we're going to do a paralogue. Now, I have been warned, and this is hot off the press warning from the comments. Um, apparently, the Lin paralogue is quite difficult, and it's probably the most difficult thing we have currently available. Therefore, we should try and do the paralogue that isn't the Lin paralogue, if we have one. So which one's the Lin one? So this is... The party seeks the ring of the crux fate. So this is our, uh, this is our story quest. This one is Lucina, so this is probably the one we should do. Sacred Tomb is our advanced class level 5. Ike is advanced class level 3. And Lin is this one, which is apparently maybe the most difficult one we have, from what I've heard. Obviously, I haven't done any of them, so um, I think we're going to go to... Not this one. Where's the where's the Lucina one? Yes. We're going to head over to the Arena of the Gods, and we're going to give this one a shot. It's... Two levels higher than the last one that we've got, but it is equal difficulty in theory to the next story quest we have, so it makes sense for us to do this now. Also, it's going to have a little bit of story to it. So, a place of significance to Emblem Lucina. Here, the Divine Dragon will face an important trial. Let's go. Paralogue, the Exalt. What is this place, Lucina? I feel a magical power here. This appears very similar to Arena Ferox. Most curious. Ferox? That's a place from your world, right? Yes. Ferox is a kingdom divided by east and west, with a militaristic Khan overseeing each. Every so many years, a fighting tournament is held to determine which Khan will rule them all. Arena Ferox is where I cross swords with my father. Ooh. He taught you swordsmanship, yes? It must have been an interesting, if fierce, bout. Yes, it was a hard fight. He had no idea who I was and held nothing back. He'd trained me well, but that fight was when I first saw just how strong my father really was. That must be precisely why this familiar place was chosen as a trial ground. Trial ground? What does that mean? We each feel the extraordinary power here. Tell me what it feels like deep down. It's almost like I'm sensing your power, but also like you're far away. Well then, draw your weapon. Fight me. If you pass the trial, our bond will grow stronger. With a stronger bond, you will be able to draw upon more of my power as an emblem. Oh, so this is how we get the remaining levels. Because we got up to level 10, but I believe there's more levels. Like, I think we can get to level, is it 20 with the emblems? So this is probably what this is unlocking. So you complete their quest, which then lets you get a higher bond level, which lets you get more stuff. I hope I can learn as much in this arena as you did. That's good to hear. However, it's going to require more than hope for you to win this battle. You're going to be surprised if you think I'm only bringing hope to this fight. That's the spirit. Okay. So I'm assuming it's not just a one-on-one -on -one fight, because that makes no sense mechanically. Let's see what it is. Ah, connecting. An important part of this game to the Nintendo Online Services. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Right. So, um, let's have a quick look. How many units do we get? Six. Six units. Okay, so um, I think this must be the one I was told was shorter. So we have you, who has money. Okay. And you, who has money. And you, who has money. And you, who has no money. But you, who has money? Okay, so we have a lot of people who have money. Um, we've got a couple of magic users. We've got um, a bow user up here, obviously, in Lucina, who uses Parthia. Hmm. I get the feeling that reinforcements are going to spawn from these, but there's no guarantee. 
There's a couple of deaths here. That implies that maybe people peek through their units here and they die on this side. So maybe those reinforcements come from here. They run up and kill you. Mm -hmm. And there's also deaths here, but these are obviously deaths to the boss. So that makes sense. Okay. Unit selection is going to be interesting. Hmm. Well, I mean, obviously, you're on the team. You're on the team. And you're on the team. These these are these are non these these are not questions. Actually, honestly, Ivy has to be on the team right now. Apparently there might be better choices for Byleth in terms of a person to have with them. For instance, apparently Byleth with um where are we? With with this guy. There we go. With Pandreo. Apparently Byleth with Pandreo goes really well. Uh, because it gives him a huge benefit. Let me get, go and have a look at what that is, actually, just before we jump in. I'm not sure we're going to switch it now, but it's worth just having a look so we know what we're getting into. So if I have a look here, magic plus four. Yeah, okay, and then you get Thyrus. That's it, yes, which gives you two magic range, um, which means that you're attacking with your um, tomes at a minimum of four, or, yeah, at four range, which is insane, obviously. That's, that's nuts, because then... Yeah, even Surge, you would be attacking at 3 range. That's that's just nuts. If you give you uh, Thunder, you start attacking at 5 range. As, as, your, as a range, that's insane, right? You can attack outside the movement range of some characters. So I can definitely see how that's a, that's a path we could go forward here. But I'm not going to switch right now, mainly because we're, just in, we're about to start combat. Um, okay, so I'm going to bring these four. I might switch Jean for Pandre Pandreo here. I know that we've kept Jean in a while, but I think Pandreo might be better for this particular fight due to um, him being a slightly better damage dealer. And now we're, now, we're, now we're fighting for positions. We've got two more slots. I would think Higetsu could be good. I would think that there's a chance that Panette is good. Hmm... I think I'm going to bring Kigetsu. And I think I'm going to bring Meren. You know what? I don't think we should bring um, Ivy. I was just thinking, yeah, it's not a good idea to bring Ivy because Ivy flies. So it's just inherently bad. In which case, we should give the ring to Pandreo. Okay, so maybe I am doing this now. Okay. The negative of Ivy having it is obviously uh, Ivy can't really use Luin. The positive of Ivy doing it is Ivy is often in a great position to use Goddess Dance. Also, apparently Ivy's luck stat is really bad, so therefore getting luck is good. But we can always buy that at some point. Anyway, also with the weapon, you know, um, I think that would probably, that fits better on Pandreo for what we're using them for. You know, I think it's better on Pandreo, I, I agree. I, I, you know what, I was talking myself into a situation where I was like, I, d I was like, I don't think it's better because I didn't choose it. And I'm like, well, that's just not, that's just a terrible reason, isn't it? Lord yeah, Violet. let's do that. Or I didn't think of it first. <laughs> yes, uh, now that I've talked it through, quite clearly it's the correct decision. And you can have the Morgan S ring, which still increases your luck, which is kind of nice. Right. So, Pandreo with Thyrus. Obviously only active when we're synced, but that's okay. Let's do that. Um, let's work out where we want everybody to be. I'm just working, like, maybe we'll think of something else here as well. So we have... Strong physical unit. Magic. Strong physical. Armor. Armor. Yeah, so it's just a mirror on each side. Hmm. So obviously I think I need a tank on each side. So you're gonna tank one side, you're gonna tank the other side. This seems fair, so you're gonna go, uh, let's make you go left, and then you're gonna go right. Then any damage dealers on each side. So I think that this group should go left, because Louis has a self heal as well. And then this group should go right, because it's less tanky, but more damage and more healing. I think this is gonna work well for us. All right, I'm gonna drop in a save, and we're gonna take a shot at this. Uh, I think this is the save for this episode. There we go. Right. Fight. Let's see how this goes. Don't hold back. Strengthen our bond. Fight with everything you've got. 
Victory, defeat Emblem Lucina. Defeat, Alpex is defeated. Okay. Oh, is this her music? I think it is, but it's like an updated version. It's not the version that we hear if we do it via the menu. That's kind of cool. This isn't so bad. So you're going to head in here. This should be fine. Oh, it was very nice. To command. Um, you're yes. going to head here. Now All on this right. side, you see, this is where I think a lot of people go. Let's move. Well, you know what? I, I know that they died, but that wouldn't happen to us, right? So let's just move here. Hmm. Or is this just let's the normal? Do this. I'm wondering where this is the normal music, but it's got like new. Yeah, it's definitely got yes. like some of this game's music in it, but it's got like another theme in there. Maybe, unless I'm just going crazy. This is definitely this game's music. Observe your oh. Well, that's one way not to take another 18 damage, is just crit. All right, he's level six. Great level up. Honestly, can't be mad. Really would like res, but you know, honestly, pretty good. All right. Does 30 damage if it hits, which it didn't. Okay, so they do a lot of damage, huh? This is fine. Didn't spawn in enemies, which is always nice. Can you attack this one up here? No. Okay, so you have no way of attacking up. Okay, good to know. In which case, I probably want to say that you're dead. And then work out how I kill from here. So I want to do something like attack, like attack there. Yeah. We could potentially run forward. We could potentially kill with the longbow, run... Um, I could potentially kill longbow, run forward, give another turn, run forward and kill. I don't see any reason why we should do that. That sounds terrible. Right? Honestly, that just sounds terrible. Let's just let Pandreo get a kill. Time to pray. That's much more sensible. And then you're just gonna move here. And we'll just wait for them. On this side, kind of a similar thought. You're gonna move back. Handle with you're gonna care. move back. Do I have a I do have a Vuln, so we'll use one of those. Cool. And we'll wait. Yep, happy with that turn. So, okay, one unit aggro's per turn, good to know. So I would love to just grab that kill there. I think this should be fine. Can I get the kill with the Armor Slayer? I can. Okay. Do it. Just because that gives us the Armor Slayer for when the um, Armored guy comes in. That you're gonna come in and we're gonna hit you with armor slayer. The only negative is that obviously you you need to die. Okay. Can't quite get the kill there. What's your crit chance? Um twenty-eight percent. I think I take it. This is fine. Alright. Well, not the uh, point I would have wanted the crit, but that's okay. We're going to move Louie off. up to drag the aggro over here. You're going to wait. You're going to move in. You're physic, right? So I can go to the center of the map, then do a little physic, which should get you get you back up and running. My good friend. Nice. And then we'll move all crest into the center here. Awesome. So now the axe users on the side should aggro as well. 35 is a lot of damage. Okay. We miss. Or it was a miss, which is nice. We got some lucky misses. Okay, this is a solid amount of damage. That's fine. And the smash is not ideal. Might need to send Pandrea over there just to grab the kill. Okay. Unselectable for those, or deselect. Um, I think that you'll be fine being attacked. If 
I move here, you can actually attack? What weapon do you have? Is that it's a tomahawk, I see. See, because I was thinking we could shoot with a radiant bow and get the kill here. We can only shoot the radiant bow if I can stop him being attacked somehow. I could give another turn, which was potentially also okay. Hmm. I can Thyrus kill the one on the left. Wow, I'm just looking at the range this guy has. That's insane. He's going to get all the way up here. Hmm. Really, I want you to have two turns. Um. I wonder. So if I move out, then Astra Storm, I'm getting nothing done. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. You can obviously kill the one in front of you. This, this, this is true. So I could just give you the kill. How does the Levin Sword look? Not. It, it looks like it's not a kill. So how much? Okay. So your take. Your defense is 14 right now. You'll be hitting for 42. 42 minus 14 is 28. That's fine. And you won't double hit because your speed is not double. Okay, sure. And because our speed is so much higher, we'll double hit first here. Yeah, this is fine then. Oh, it's actually not even because our speed is higher. It's just because he's uh, using a uh, lance. Uh, uh, it's not lance. The, the, um, he the heavy style weapon. The one that smashes. Cool. That's fine. More speed gained. Here, I'm thinking we go in. We change you into Byleth. Then we go for an attack with L-Fire. So L-Surge. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Hmm. So we could do that. Okay, but that's not going to get the kill. What about if I move you in here? Attack with the Radiant Bow. That is not even close. Can anyone kill this guy in, like, one hit? Whatever you require. Um... Yeah, what if you engage? Then attack with the hammer. That's pretty good. It's it's not a kill, but it's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Hold nothing back. Just trying to see how much damage we can get away with here. So you're not gonna hurt. And I assume you have nothing that can hurt me either. No. Okay. So it would need a combination of Louis and Opandreo to get the kill. Problem is that then sets Louis up to be hit. 32. So to be hitting for 10. He would maybe hit for 10 twice, he has 20 health. Hmm. I could maybe set you up there. Alright, let's just see how much damage this does. Uh, not this, this. Um attack. This at most puts him down to 9. Okay, so that puts you down to 9. So, could you get the kill is my main question here. Uh, with the hammer. Um, hmm. Uh, which one? Yeah, so I would need to engage. Hammer. There we go. That would get you close. Together they would get a kill. The only problem is that then the guy hits in. We have 12 health. It would, however, activate the ability over here. Is that you would take 50% less damage. So if you have 12 health, you're taking 50% less. We think you should be taking 10. Then you'd be taking 5 damage twice, which means you would end with 2 HP. Okay, so this is the plan, it's just not ideal. Okay, attack with the hammer. Of course, we have to hit. Otherwise, everything I've just said is pointless. Nice, we did hit. That's a solid start. You're gonna move up. You can attack from here. Just want to talk about the insane range. I mean, look at this, that's, that's nuts. 
We're actually going to be able to attack the... I just realized we're going to be able to attack the bow user at the end of this. Outside of the bow user's range with a ranged weapon. <laughs> Which is just nuts, obviously. Right, wait there. Move out of the way. Move out of the way and then grab yourself a little heal. Cool. So they're now moving in. Yep. This does exactly what we thought it would do. Which is fine, because we're alive. We knew that had a potential of doing a lot of damage, we just assumed we would live. Which, to be fair to me, we did. I'll manage. Um, so I can attack in here. That will leave you with 20 HP. You can then run in, maybe not here, but let's just move you here for just now to see. Anything do 20? No. How about you? Can you do 20? You can do 20. Okay, perfect. So this side is looking like one of these, which uh, will knock you down to 20. With a 100% chance of hitting, which is pretty good. Followed by moving up here and attacking in for the remaining damage. Thanks. I won, my princess. So that clears that one. Hmm. This How do you feel about deal dealing damage? It's almost a 50% crit. Okay, we know that you can't kill. I am full How do you of feel about it? Well, you will break him. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do it. Chance of a crit. Even mighty there we fall. go. We would need two crits to make it. Never mind. Rest in pieces. That that's that's fine. All right. Sure. Um. Why don't you um heal? Followed by us casting heal on you. I think. There we go. I feel wonderful. This seems fine. And we'll just, um, oh yeah, move you up and end our turn. Okay. I live to serve. You're not going to take very much damage. Uh, let me just see here. This is fine. I don't think we need to worry about any of this, really. I think we're going to do is we're going to move you. No, we could do. This is, this is a smarter move. We're going to move you over here. Going to move you over here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Wait. You're going to head over this way with your Vuln. There we go. You're just going to wait there wait there and you're gonna wait there we're gonna assume it won't spawn enemies on us because I think it's given us these so it, it won't spawn enemies on us basically um, I would like to trade with you give you the bomb I would then like to convoy to grab a new bomb I would then like to item to use it Uh, I would then like to use this one on you. Cool. And kind of a similar thing over here, which is just walk over and grab it. I suppose we should grab this for an item, even though the item is garbage. It sells for money. Uh, oh, and I suppose you should grab this as well while we're here. Okay, cool. You're going to head in here. You're going to head all the way up here. I think engaging this fight with an um, with a great Aether makes a lot of sense to me. So we'll do that, and then we'll, um, we'll run everybody in after that. How far can you run? Yeah, let's move you up one. This should be fine. 
Right. So, the plan is, we move in here, we power up, and we Great Aether. There we go. Which means that we're only going to take less damage. We can then actually move up a little bit here. Just to get everybody in and ready. And then we just end our turn. So they have to run into us. They do one damage to Louis. Oh, and it spawns some units. I see. Well, that's not ideal. But then he gets to do his damage back. Which is pretty good. Okay, so first health bar is down. The question is, do we want to kill these guys? I don't think we do. I think we want to try and go for the kill. Alright. This isn't ideal. You're not going to double hit no matter what we do. I think we get you to attack. I just need to figure out how to optimally do this. Because obviously what we want to do is we want to get as many people getting the extra attack as possible. I'm just working it out. So if I move you back, throw I can throw a spear here, move you here, you throw your dagger in. Can you attack from this square? No, but I could sink you. Can you run up here? I could summon my doubles with you on your turn, potentially. Ooh, yeah, I could run up here. Summon doubles. I'm just trying to work out the best square to do this on. Because obviously using and giving everyone another turn here is the best way to get the kill. I think you need to have two turns so you can double poison potentially, although maybe that's a trap. Let's say that you attack the boss directly. Is there anything I can do with you? I could get just a straight kill here. How much damage do you do to her? Uh, nothing very consistent. Okay. Just working it out. I can also try using... Oh, wait. Why didn't he have his thing? Why didn't he have a ring off? Did I take his ring off? Wait, I must have taken his ring off. He doesn't have his ability. Oh, wait, no. His thing is her. That's why I don't have it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes so much sense. That actually like, makes so much sense. Yeah, okay. Attack, throw, thinking of a way that this works. Um, I think summoning the, I think summoning uh, our copies is probably worth it as well. All right, I'm gonna move him here this side. I'm not gonna, I'm deliberately not gonna give him another turn. Let's see if he crits. If he does, that would be really good. He didn't even hit. Okay. So if I engage and then call doubles, that would call one into the square below. Don't want anyone in that square below. Maybe not called up. Maybe I call doubles on next turn. Maybe I use Astro Storm turn one. Potentially. But before I use Astro Storm, let's do this. So go up, attack with the Silver Dagger. That now means that every hit of Astro Storm has an additional one damage, I think. You then move up and use Astro Storm, which would, ki which would kill now. What's wrong? You won't win just by standing there. Your stance has no openings. I don't see how I could hit you, no matter where I strike. Doubt will only dull your attacks. Trust in yourself, and come at me with everything. Understood. Here I come. Now I have you. Okay. <laughs> So that knocks him down. Until no one can beat me. That's health bar number one. 
I'm then I'm trying to think if there's any reason to have this person in here. Probably not. I could probably just attack. Okay. So let's move you in here. Engage. Emblems protect us. Followed by using the goddess dance. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, perfect. It's luck four. You're then gonna take a step to the side and you're gonna call doubles. Okay. Move here, attack him. Keep stacking poison. I don't know if we're gonna live this turn, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly in the I don't know if we're gonna live camp. But, I'm interested to find out. 20% chance of critting, let's do it. No crit, okay. Hit back for 12, maybe that's his death, but who knows. Then we're gonna move you in here. And... We're gonna try Killer Bow, but I think we're gonna use Silver Bow. Let's see how this goes. I think there's a high chance that we just die, and we need to come up with a new strategy. But, I want to try this first. So she attacks one of our copies, which is great. It's what we wanted her to do. You're attacking Kigetsu. You will live. Okay. You can't attack Kigetsu, so you're attacking one of our clones. Who gets chained to- Oh, that's Pandreo. Never mind, that's not a clone. That's a real person. They're moving in, but we should be fine because we only have to kill her. All right, attack. This is nothing. You were a worthy opponent. This now applies more poison to her. So she's extremely poisoned. So now if we attack her with our liberation or even Manicati. Wait, does Manicati give us more experience? Am I making that one up? No, I am making that one up in this situation. Okay. So if we attack with whichever one gives us the most damage. So that's all bar 9. All bar 9 appears to be the best currently. Okay. We have another weapon, so I just want to test it as well. We attack with a killer bow. It's all bar 11. Okay, so we can do all bar 9 here. And then, oh, I'll just shoot with all crest. Okay, that opens up room for oh, you to head out here and get some extra XP. Let's do that. Chance of a crit, didn't get it, okay. We can move Louie over here and grab him a little extra XP. There we go. Hurry. I could take on anyone. That's fine. All we have to do is keep our two bow users free and then the rest of this we're fine with. Got axe proficiency, which doesn't really matter. Save us all. Um I think I'm gonna attack with this here. Assuming that does the most damage. Yeah, okay. Let's do some damage. Nice. Oh, so looking for the kill, just looking for you know a little bit of XP, a little bit of bond. You're gonna head in here and attack with this. Let's go. Here we go. One more. Nah. Not over yet. One more. Nah. Nice. Followed by Allcrest, the user of this ring, attacking the um the ring itself. Ninety percent. Do we have better than that? Maybe. What about this? Mini bow is not a kill. It is better than 90% though. Okay. Shoot. So strong. Wonderful. There's our XP and the end of the fight. MVP was Alpax and Lin. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And that was it. 
That was fairly straightforward. I lost. Your combat skills have grown admirably. Compared to when we first met, you've grown strong and become a formidable opponent. Thank you. It is in no small part because of your guidance, Lucina. Such kind words. If I helped you at all, then I couldn't be happier. There's a lesson there, you know. What one person can achieve on their own is limited. I agree. I couldn't have come this far by myself. Everything I've accomplished has been thanks to those who have fought beside me. I'm relieved to hear that. I feel my friends close by even now. Their spirits live on in me. Their spirits live on. The power of my bonds with them helped us to change a hopeless future. The same as you are now, with your own allies. You're one of those allies, Lucina. Aren't you? Of course. I'll fight with you until the very last. Then we can't lose, no matter what the world sends our way. You're right. Our bonds are far stronger than destiny. Cool. Oh. Max bond level unlocked. What an odd little extra slot there <laughs> at the end. Okay, we got it. And it tells us not what that means, but we can have a look at this when we get back to a situation where we can look at things. Okay, so if I reapply the ring here, Lady Lucina, let's, let's have a go. look at this. So we have all of this. Ooh, okay. So level 11, unit stays engaged one additional turn. Grants AVO 20 at the cost of 10 crit. Dual support. Grants a bonus to AVO that increases with a unit support level with a ma- Grants a bonus to AVO which increases with a unit support level with adjacent allies max plus 90. So you can gain up to plus 90 AVO for being standing next to somebody you have a support with. Or like many people. It must be, t you know what, this must be 10 per support, uh, per uh, max support, right? Because you could be surrounded by, no, that doesn't make any, I was thinking you could be surrounded by 9, that's not right. You can be surrounded by 8, I was thinking in a grid, like it'd be 3 by 3, there'd be 9, but that obviously doesn't make sense, because you would be one of them. What does it mean max level 90? I'm just trying to figure out how much AVO you get per, I suppose it could, each support rank could be different. So it could be, yeah, you can get up to three with each person. So if you're surrounded by four people, then you could get a multiple of 12 plus an extra one because so you get to 13. I, I have no idea how it equals 90. There must be some calculation, but I understand, right. Or maybe it just goes up at a random amount and caps at 90, who knows. More AVO at the cost of crit. Level 15 gets us the Parallel Falchion. Sacred Sword wielded by Emblem Lucina. Then Dexterity 4. Bow Agility 5. Dual Assist Plus. So this is the same thing but with a better trigger, right? That's 35%. Yeah, this is 70% trigger. Then Dexterity 5. Then Deep Synergy, which is Engage Me to a Shortened One Step. Ooh. Okay, it's basically what we had, but better for the most part, but yeah, cool, interesting. All right, and I'm assuming we're getting that with all of them when we actually do their paralogs. Okay, neat. Let's run along here, grab all the items. Let's see what's in this kind of area. 300 iron ingots, okay. 150 bond fragments. They're like making sure you're equipped in this area, huh? And then 10 steel ingots, which is still reasonable. Hello. Hmm. You're uh, right. Yeah, I forgot they just say generic stuff. That's fine. We'll, we'll move out of the way. Amazing. I was traveling with you. I suppose I got stronger. Well done in the last fight. I've not done very well. I'm curious if I'll get stronger. Is it time to something something? You know. 
Okay, yeah, these are all generics. Yeah, I... No. Right, hello. Excellent. Well done, you're sure to carve out a bright, hope-filled future. I'll be with you all the way. Okay, I think literally everyone else just does a generic thing. <laughs> Kinda hard to believe this pretty scenery was a battlefield just a little while ago, huh? That seems generic. Was that actually generic? Whoa! See, that one's definitely generic. Hmm. Ah. Even I must concede this view is lovely to look upon. Take an ease while you can. Yeah, it's just a generic line that doesn't give us anything. Okay, I'm leaving. I weirdly don't think we have many supports to do because we didn't really have anyone interact in that last fight. There was only six of us, and it wasn't that long. So I'm trying to think what there is to do at the Somniel. I guess there's eating, there's doing the recreation activities, and there's the wake-up event. I think that's it. Well, that plus, obviously, all the stuff I do off camera now. Okay, wait, you have something new to say? Now then. Princess Ivy and Hortensia, you've reunited at last. Princess Ivy must be relieved. I think we already had that one. What about you over here? Have we already spoken to you? I'm so happy to uh, get to be here with my sister. I hope Rosado and Gold Mary are doing okay. Yeah, we've had that one. I guess it just tells us about them again when we come back in here. Cool. Uh, let's see what supports we have. Supports. Oh, never mind. We have quite a lot. Ah, we have us and Pandreo, uh, Pandreo and Marin. We have Louis and Pandreo. We have all Crest and Pandreo. Okay, we're learning about Pandreo today. Let's do Marin's one first, then. Divine One, I have something to discuss with you, if it's not too much trouble. Is it your tail? Oh? No, it's no trouble at all. Also, why are we having this conversation in our bedroom? But first, you can loosen up a little. I don't bite, I promise. <laughs> of course, forgive me. I've been working up the courage to ask you about this. See, I love rare critters, and I especially love dragons. So, you think of me as a rare critter? Well, you're rare at least. You're the world's only divine dragon. So, I was hoping you'd help me understand your species a little better. Um, wow. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Please, go ahead. All right, I'll cut to the chase then. Tell me, what is a typical day like for you? Let's see. Someone wakes me up in the morning. I eat breakfast. I train until noon. I live like a normal person, to be honest. Is that helpful? Very. Basic activity is much like that of an average human. Wait, are you writing all this down? Of course. This is excellent material for the book I'm working on about you. You're writing a book. Book? You don't think that's a little much? What do you mean? Future generations deserve to know all about the Divine Dragon. Wait, is the uh, Divine Dragon race running out after us? Are there no more after us? I mean, we, we can make an attempt with somebody, I'm sure. I, uh, I guess so. All right, well, Marin's a little odd. New page on Marin. Ah, yes. New page on Marin. It's been a while since we've had a new page, so I was just like, oh yes, we get these. Marin likes meat, weapons, music, animals, cool things, sweets, rare critters, Tamara's songs, dislikes scary stories, strong odors, failure, people who don't care for animals. Okay. Uh, what I think we're going to do with the rest of the supports is we're going to do them so we end with Pandreo, so we can end with the Ally Notebook. As in, sorry, we end with um, Divine Dragon Pandreo, so we can end with the Notebook. So, let's start with Allcrest Pandreo. Both of these are odd, because they're not within um, his region, so I'm expecting extreme weirdness. So, Prince Alchrist, what did you think of your first party? Why... why did I think I could do that? Hmm. I can see how an all-night blowout would be kind of overwhelming for a beginner. 
The music was so loud. Everyone was shouting, and the dancing, the dancing! <sighs> it was like a scene from my worst nightmares. I shouldn't have joined you. I wasn't ready. <laughs> uh, good times. Pandreo, please. I don't think I can do that again. I'm sorry, but partying is not for me. Hey, hey, let's not be too hasty here. I saw you standing on the sidelines, watching the action from afar. To really know what it's like, you have to dive in and lose yourself with the rest of us. I'll be sure to drag you into the crowd next time. No, I can't. I must decline. Now, why would you do that? Don't worry. I'll make sure you have fun. Leave it all to me. Oh! <laughs> yes, of course. Oh. Well, um, that certainly gave us what I was looking for. Andreo is the partying priest, and Alcrest does not want to interact with other people if he can help it. I don't know how these two are getting along. Louis loves watching people, Pandreo loves partying. There, it seems like there should be crossover. Are they going to have a tea party? Louis! Are you peeping again? Pardon me, Pandreo, but I would never do anything so gauche as peeping. I prefer to think of it as observing from afar. Stalking is what it says on the official record. <laughs> oh, well, excuse me. That's nothing at all like peeping. Whatever, bud. If you get bored of not peeping, you're welcome to party hardy with me. A party hardy? Yep. You and me can let our hair down and do some good old-fashioned male bonding. <laughs> Excuse me? Hmm. Male bonding. I've wondered lately if that may be something worth observing firsthand. Well, what do you know? Serendipity. Quite so. Pandreo, I would be exceptionally pleased to accept your invitation. Let the two of us explore all the ways in which two men may grow ever closer. Hmm. <laughs> How is it you make everything sound suggestive? Anyway, I'm glad you're on board. Though you should know, I take my partying seriously. We're gonna shimmy and swing till dawn so you can forget about sleeping. I shall match you measure for measure, Pandreo. All right then. Well, I hope they have fun. It's now time for our turn to party, I guess. But did you see the side eye that we just gave Pandreo? Like a... What are you about to ask us to do? He, he, he constantly has a worried look in his face. Ah, divine one. Just the dragon I was hoping to see. I could use a favor. Pandreo was the uh, fanboy, right? When we first met him, he was like, Oh my god, the divine dragon. So, I'm expecting this is going to follow that line. Oh, what kind of favor? I'm hosting a party soon, and I'd like for you to be there. That's a reasonable request. At our church, you're the center of our everything. Our deity. I think your attendance would really raise everyone's spirits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can definitely see how um, your god coming down and partying with you would raise people's spirits. It definitely seems that that would help. Hmm. Tell me more about this party. What is it going to be like? Oh, nothing formal. Just an occasion to sing, dance, and have a good time. You can blow off some steam and lend an ear to the other guests. Hear their stories. That sounds fun, but what does my listening to people have to do with anything? Don't you see? It would be incredibly encouraging to everyone. The first time I saw you with my own eyes was like... <laughs> like seeing the light. <laughs> You're coming on a little strong. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little intense there, didn't I? Anyway, it's short notice, so there's no need to let me know right away. But I'll tell you, I don't throw so-so parties. If I'm hosting it, you know it'll be a blowout. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Divine One. All right. Andreo, you have successfully sold yourself to me. 
I, I think that you're a cool character. Right. Ally Notebook. There are also some characters we haven't yet spoken to. I did notice there are actually some in the earlier chapters we also haven't spoken to. We should probably speak, at least speak to all of them. You know, give them a chance to sell themselves. Pandreo likes the Divine Dragon parties, music, games, fairy tales, uh, uh, diary, dairy? I think it says dairy? What? Why does it say dairy? Likes the Divine Dragon parties, music, games, fairy tales, dairy, singing, groovy believers, dislikes, exercise, training, spicy food, dancing, close minded people. Oh, okay then. Well, now we've done that, it's time to head over here and see what we're working on. So, this was Tamara and Fogado. You know what, Tamara and Fogado? I'm gonna give you more chances. We're, we're gonna see where your uh, storyline goes. And we'll see whether we like it. So, Tamara and Fogado. Uh, let's go. So, skip to results. Followed by skipping to results. And we got another support conversation. You know what? Let's just do all three. Because we're, we're probably going to aim to do uh, the A rank now that we've got this anyway. Right. Cool. And then let's run all the way over here. And Jean. Hi there. Hi. We'd like to order a meal. It's for Tamara and Fogado. They have anything they like. Okay, well that's not gonna work. You know what? Let's go for Pandreo and Louis. What did I do last time? I, I did get to an. I don't think I did get to an Ivy. I'm trying to remember who I who went for last time. We haven't done any with uh, Amber either, so we should probably do, that was the one, like Amber and Jade were the two I was thinking of who we've done nothing with. We could have Amber and Jade speak to each other, and we, then we could try something. Hmm. You have caramel nut cake? Sure. Let's have a little bit of everything, and then... No, screw it, we're having ve a vegetable on top of that. Do it. This'll be just like mixing medicine. Okay, so if I add these two together, looks good. I think you'll really like this. Delicious. I love this. I want to order this every day. I might even feed it to the animals. That's how good it is. Honestly, C is fine. Magic 3 is incredible. I set aside a little for you as well. Here you go. I'm wondering whether the rare item is what adds in like an additional stat, because I don't think the caramel nut cake had a had three magic on it by default. So maybe adding in the rare thing adds in a different stat and like vegetable adds in magic. And it's nothing to do with what the dish is? I don't know. Anyway, so we've done that. Then over here, I'm gonna do a little um, achievement collecting. Get some bond fragments. We have quite a lot of those now. Uh, I don't need to go in there just now. Let's go. Oh, do we have anything at the music box? Oh, we do. Okay, cool. Um, we previously hadn't had anything at the music box, so I hadn't even checked it, but uh, I will change the music for next time. We'll try something different. I quite like the default music, but you know, given that we have some unlocked, we might as well, uh, you know, try it. Uh, I think we send Jean back to the mine. There we go. And he gets back training. Let's try not to hurt each other, okay? Do you think me a worthy opponent? Ooh. I think there's a chance John wins. It's gonna be close though. Yeah, he needs to hit both of his next two. Nice. Okay. I think I've grown up a little. Doesn't really matter because he gets the same amount any like all the time. I believe it's on. Uh, anything that isn't maddening, you get more if you win. But on maddening, you get the exact same every time, from my understanding. I'm, uh, Jean. But Should that's I okay. really be here? I am Marin. I seek a worthy opponent. I guess the positive thing is, if I choose Jean each time, then at least we get a um, 
like representative damage so that we can compare everything else against. You me thoroughly. So we can see. Um, I think I've grown up a little. Yeah, we can see how peak members of the party do against each other. Like we can tell that Ivy and Marin and John are all around the same damage level. But if we fight somebody else, we might find that John doesn't really compete as well. Like Let's Louis. Let's try not to hurt each other, okay? Louis would be bad. Come, pray with me. Oh, Pandreo. <laughs> oh, double dodge is nice. Oh, they're both um, using the um, fist style. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Very close. Forgive me. Oh. My performance One hit sinful. difference between them. I think I've grown up a little. Okay. But, to be fair to Pandreo, um, Pandreo was using... Um, where is it? He, he was using shielding art which uh, is this one right here, which gives defense, while Jean is using the upgraded uh, Silver Spirit Arts. This is the Silver Tier version of the double hit weapon. So it's not entirely a fair fight, I would say. You know. Anyway, uh, Somnio map. I don't think there's any reason in particular to go to the Ring Chamber. Uh, there could be a reason to give people different abilities, but I don't think we need to do that necessarily. So let's go to the room. As in, there's, a, there's potentially a reason to level people's bonds up and see what we can do with that, but I don't think immediately we want to do that. I think we want to do that once we get a few more rings back, because then we, ha we know what our options are again. Really, what we should have done is not spend all of our points before uh, we... Um, before Chapter 11 on all of the... Um, garbage that we spent it on, as in like, just rolling the gacha machine over and over again, because we could have then spent those things to get better skills. However, you could argue that rolling the gacha machine was good because it got us S ranks that we now can't access because we don't have the rings. So, you know, it's, it's a bit of column A, a bit of column B, basically, in terms of what we're doing here. But you know, it's fine. Worked out. I'm running late. How awful of me. I was trying to plan your breakfast. And lost track of time. Bread with vegetables? With a roast as a main course? Or perhaps... Marin? Oh, oh, Citrine. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you first thing. But could you tell me what sort of breakfast you prefer? I'll make sure the kitchen prepares it in advance next time. Is that our second wake up with Citrine? I think it might be. Let's have a look. There is actually a way of finding out, because if you go to... You go to here, then reminisce, then wake up events. There we go. Yeah, so Citrine... Uh, wait, where are you? Yes, that was our second wake-up event. Okay, cool. That's fine. Now, it is time for us to do the last support we have, which is Tamara and Fogado's B support. Last time, Tamara was complaining that Fogado was away too much because they like each other quite a lot and they don't get to see each other very often. Hey, listen, I want to talk about something. What's up, Fogato? You look kind of down. Yeah, well, I think I owe you an apology. I knew it! You're the one who stole my rib tips. I was saving those for a late night snack. What? No, I would never do that. I know how much you love your midnight meats. Wait a second, what's this I knew it business? You don't trust your own brother? <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I get cranky when I wake up on an empty stomach. Anyway, what was that about an apology? I was thinking about what you said, how I wasn't around much in the castle. I've always felt that because our people are free spirits, they deserve a free-spirited prince. But now, I realize that it got in the way of our sibby time. I'll try to do better from now on. Listen, Fogato. I know that free spirit stuff doesn't tell the whole story. You leave the castle to get a lay of the land. 
make it easier to plan for a crisis, right? So that if the worst happens, you'll be ready to advise me. <laughs> of course you know. Well, yeah, we are Sibbies, aren't we? I know everything that's going on in that cute little head of yours. I do appreciate all you do for me. As far as little brothers go, I'd say I lucked out. I'm our family. We watch out for each other. If I'm honest, though, sometimes I don't want you to watch out for me. I just want you to hang out with me. You know? Like right now. This is perfect. Oh, nice. Still doesn't tell us a single thing about the characters, but you know, it's a nice progression of the story. I really feel like we need some context from someone else, but you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so now we have done everything in Asomniel that we need to do. Well, mine is the things that I'm going to do off camera between episodes. So, I think that sets us up nicely for our another paralogue next time with um, with Lin, maybe? The problem with the Lin paralogue, though, if I'm honest with you, the main problem with the Lin paralogue is we don't get Lin, right? We can't fight the Lin paralogue with Lin if it's in the same format, which means that we're in big trouble. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.